Now, in this tutorial, we are going to learn what is class. Class is a main topic to understand what is object-oriented PHP. So, what is class? Class is a collection of properties and methods which can be used as many times as you want. Class contains property and methods which can be accessed through creating a class instance. A class instance is known as object. So, if you read these three lines, you will completely understand what is class. A class is a simple collection of properties and methods and the class instance is known as object. So, if you want to call a method or property of the class, you need to create an object of that class. A PHP class can be used in any PHP application. So, it's very useful to save your lot of time. You can consider class properties as variables and methods as functions. Now, let me give you a very simple example to understand how to create a class and how to create properties and methods. So, so to create a class, you start with a class giver and then you will specify the name of your class. The name would be anything except the PHP keywords. So I'm going to create a class YouTube and then inside this class I'm going to specify property. I'm going to just simply add public and then specify title. You can notice we added an access modifier as a prefix of this property. This is a public access modifier. We'll talk about what is access modifiers in the next video. But now just consider that public access modifiers allows us to access property and methods from anywhere. So I'm going to just create here a new property of this class and name this property title. It's just like you create a new variable in PHP. So once you have your first property, let's create one more. So I'm going to create a new property length and then I'm going to initialize both these values using method. So I'm going to simply create here a new function. I'm going to just name that function set title. You can notice to create a new method of this class, I'm going to use function keyword. It's just like you create a function in PHP, but the function is inside this class. You cannot access this function outside of this class. Now to this function, we specify argument title and I'm going to just initialize this property with this title argument using this statement. To access this property, I'm using this keyword and then I'm going to specify dash greater than operator and then I'm going to specify my property. Keep in mind, you don't need to specify dollar sign to this property when you're calling it. Now, let me explain what is this. Now, this is an instance of the current object. It means this is refers to this current class. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just tell this function to get this object. It means to get this class and access the property title. And I'm going to just initialize this property using this set title function. Just out of that, I'm going to just get this property to display it. I'm going to create a new method get title. I'm going to just return this title property using get title function. Now let me show you how you can create an object of this class. As I said earlier, to access any property or method of the class, you need to create an object of the class. Object is just the instance of the class. So down here, I'm going to create object. I'm going to create a simple PHP variable and initialize it with an object. So I'm going to specify equal to sign and say new. So in PHP, new keyword is used to create an object of the class. So I'm going to just specify here YouTube and then I'm going to specify parenthesis. I want to set the property title. So I'm going to simply call this object just like this with this operator and then call set title method. So I'm going to just call this set title method using this object. So once I call this set title, I can specify string to this property. So I'm going to specify string right here, PHP tutorial. So this parameter is passed to this argument and this will initialize this property. I want to display the string. So I'm going to simply call here echo, call the object and then call get title method. This function is going to return title property. So when you execute this echo statement, it's going to return PHP tutorial. Now you're not limited to create only one object per class. Instead, you can create multiple objects if you want. Both these objects can store different data. You can notice this first object set this property as PHP tutorial. If I duplicate these two lines just like this and change this object with this title, then this statement is going to return this value. Now this object set object oriented PHP tutorial to this title property and this object is going to set PHP tutorials to this title property. Now you can notice it's super easy to create a class and its object, but there is a lot more to learn. So I hope you understand how to create a class. We will explore the class in the next tutorial as well. If you like short videos like this, make sure to subscribe and like this video. 
I will see you in the next one.